And while the city erupted in Raptors mania yesterday, history was quietly being made at Women's College Hospital. It performed the first sex reassignment surgery at the hospital on a transgender woman. We spoke with her before her momentous day and were given shots inside the operating room. Here's the surgical team as they undertook the four-hour surgery. The patient is Janet Macbeth, a 40-year-old transgender woman who lives near Windsor. She shared with us why this is so important to her. I feel like this is, is a very important step, you know, within transgender health care, specifically the, the surgical aspect of it as well. So I'm, I'm really honored to be a part of this. Up until now, a private clinic in Montreal has been the only place in the entire country where a transgender person could go for sex reassignment surgery. But they often faced a years-long waiting list. In 2016, City News profiled Danica Rain, who was the first person to go to Bangkok for the surgery and have it covered by OHIP. But now, with it being offered at Women's College, the hope is people can get the care they need close to home. There's very few other surgeries I could ever imagine that someone presents to their physician and says, I need this medically necessary surgery. And the physician says, that's great, I'm going to write a note and you can travel to Montreal and have that surgery. Or you can travel to America and have that surgery. We know outcomes of surgery are better when it's done locally. And we know just intuitively to have to travel for surgery is not good for anybody. Dr. Yona Krakowski performed Janet's surgery. It's called a vaginoplasty, which is essentially creating a functioning vagina and urethra. And there's another first to this story. But technically, when you do the first surgery on Janet, this is also your first surgery actually doing this particular surgery. Yeah, that's correct. Is that so, a bit nerve-wracking? Um, it's very exciting. Dr. Krakowski has been mentored by Dr. Marcy Bowers, a world-renowned U.S. surgeon who's performed around 2,000 vaginoplasties. She's in Toronto this week to oversee his first three. According to the Ministry of Health, in 2018-2019, 352 transgender patients went to Montreal for surgery. Another 41 went out of country. Behind each of those numbers is a very real person with a very personal story. I think that um, transgender people are, are very misunderstood by many Mm -hmm. And a, a lot of people will be wondering why. Why do you feel that you need to do this surgery? Are you comfortable talking to me about that? Um, yeah, so I mean, it's just like, you know, like why transition? One of the things that really drove me to transition was, was that, you know, my, my daughter was, was, was about to be born. And like, you know, I, I wanted to be open and honest you know I want to be able to show that to my kids that you know and to teach them that you know you know to live openly and honestly and to, to live a good life and and I felt like I couldn't do that because I was living living a lie. Janet has been married for 14 years and has the support of her wife. Women's College Hospital says the surgery went smoothly another patient had it today and a third will have it tomorrow. The hospital isn't sure how many surgeries it will be able to do per year or if they will be offered to people outside of Ontario. BC is also developing a program to offer the surgery.